let us look at this question of differentiation. The question is differentiate y is equal to tan squared x. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, uh, this is again a composite function, so we need to use the chain rule. So this can be written as y is equal to tan x the whole squared. Okay, and I'm going to let u as tan of x or tan x which implies if you differentiate with respect to x so you can say du by dx okay now what is the differentiation of tan x now this is the formula sheet differentiation of tan x is x squared x okay so uh, du by dx is x squared x so i'll keep this away uh, to be used later okay now so now your function has changed y has changed into so y is nothing but u squared so y is a function of u so now differentiating differentiating with respect to u so dy by du so now this is a polynomial so which is 2u okay so this is one other result so I'll now write the chain rule. The chain rule is like this, dy by dx, because here you've got a function y uh, as, uh, as a function of x. So y as a function of x. So you, the question is you have to differentiate y with respect to x. So dy by dx is nothing but dy by du times du by dx. And this is chain rule. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled, so what is remaining is uh, dy by dx. So what is dy by du? dy by du is 2u times du by dx, which, which is 6 squared x. Okay, so dy by dx is equal to u. What is u? u is tan x. So this is 2 tan x times 6 squared x. So this is your answer okay and i always want you to those of you who can use a graphic calculator uh, it's good to check your answer on the graphic calculator so i'll say take any arbitrary value which is defined at this function okay so 10 pi by 4 that is 10 45 is defined so i'll take x as pi by 4. okay so this is dy by dx at x is equal to pi by 4 which is 45 degrees which is equal to 2 tan pi by 4 times this is 6 squared or sec pi by 4 squared sec pi by 4 squared okay so this is equal to uh, 2 so let me use a calculator now pi by 4 is 1 okay so let me use a calculator so the first thing it should be in radians so first go and check your setting it should be in radians so here we go the radian it's in radian so exit and then i'll go 2 10 pi by 4 okay which is nothing but 2 because pi by 4 is uh, 1 so this is 2 times 2 times 1 times this is 1 over cos pi by 4 squared now pi by 4 is 1 over root 2 so you can check this on a calculator so this is 1 times 1 over pi by 4 is 1 over root 2 so first let me do without a calculator so those so this is nothing but 2 times 1 over 1 over 2 which is 2 times 2 which is 4 now if you want to do some calculator times it by or divided by uh, cos cos shift pi by 4 hopefully it works squared which will give you uh, I think I should do like this. Uh, I should put this in the bracket. Okay, so 
uh, I got two. This was two. So let me do. Um, you can do like this. Cos pi by four. Pi by four. Oh, I should put in the bracket. Bracket. Oh, sorry. So bracket cos. Again, bracket. Uh, shift pi by four. I have to put one more bracket squared. That would give me two. 0.5 mm, yeah so this is divided by 0.5 which is uh, half okay and that's what you got okay so this is dividing by half is same as multiplying by 2 okay or if you want to check this like this you can go to table uh, go to table and type in uh, bracket 10 of x squared okay and I'm going to set from 0 to uh, pi and I read it, um, in a step of pi by 4. Okay, so we're going in a step of pi by 4. And also I have to go and change my setting. The derivative has to be on. So on and then go. Okay, so uh, at what was the function? The function was 10x squared. Okay, so yeah, so what did I do? The derivative is still off, so derivative has to be on, and here we go. At this is pi by 4, uh, at pi by 4, the gradient is 4, okay, and that, that's we have confirmed. So your answer is right. See you in the next video.